I've been putting off making this video for a while, but since I need to go shovel the driveway. Like this ice stuff. It's like crunchy. And then fluffy. Anyway, I've been talking a lot lately about making a video that would be for eating out healthy in the Blue Water area. But I'm starting to feel like I've bitten off more than I can chew for like one video. It's not that I couldn't do it, but uh, making a video that long is going to deter people from actually watching it. Um, and also, editing a video that long really isn't that much fun. So yesterday I changed my mind and thought that maybe I would make a video of like the top 10 places to eat healthy in the Blue Water area. But so many people have asked me about specific places and I've already talked to dozens of restaurants in the area. So I know a little bit about who puts pancake batter in their omelets or who adds sugar to their chicken. Here's what I've decided to do. So I'm still gonna go to specific restaurants, order, eat, and then show you what I'm physically finding but I want to keep it all in one place. At first I thought about doing a chart online of like quality versus price and you know, restaurants are scattered throughout here and then just ranking them, you know, best to worst. But I'm not eating anything below this line. So instead I'm only going to show the meals that I'm willing to eat, which, you know, makes sense. For instance, here at Kate's, there are three meals that are pretty easy to make the list. The garden salad down here is always here. These other two are seasonal. The sugar loaf up here, you have to cut the cheese as well as the dressing. Um, but these other two, you just have to cut the dressing and you can always ask for vinegar and oil. And that actually makes for pretty good salads all the way around. I've had all three of these even recently. So now that we have these three meals, what I wanna show you is the actual blog post that I'm creating. So this post has you can see these three meals right in here with what we need to cut out and what we can add back in. With Kate's, you can always add the turkey. The turkey, they don't add any sugar to or anything goofy. So adding the turkey to any one of these meals uh, is always safe. You can always go here and see what I found. I'm gonna rank each of the restaurants as far as the healthy options and when they tell me where they actually get the food from. Eventually, I'd like to hit a lot of the main places, but I need your help. Here's the thing we don't really eat out that much. In the month of March, I won't be eating out at all while I'm doing the Whole30 challenge. So what would be great is if you guys could give me feedback as to what you find at these restaurants. Not necessarily how good the food was, which would be fine, but I'm also gonna be posting a few questions at the top of the blog post that you can ask at the restaurants. Uh, so whatever you find out, let me know and we'll put it in the blog post. This should work a lot better than cramming it all into one 20 minute video. I'll make a playlist of just these healthy eating in the blue water area videos, but I have to make it on YouTube. So if you want to see more of these videos and you're watching this on Facebook, click this link above, go to my YouTube page and click subscribe. That way you'll know exactly when I put out a new video. And don't forget to check out the blog post as we'll be updating that pretty regular, probably every day for a little while as I keep getting information in from the restaurants.